Oh, hello. Over here. Yes. Yes, this way. Look at me, beautiful. I see you swiveling your head, looking for me. Come on. I'm past the enchanted fish pond, and I'm waving to you. Ah, uh -huh. yes, look at me, the witch with the pink hair and the winning smile. Come on over here, cutie. I have the best stall in the entire market, and it's quiet here. Oh my, 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 look at you. Hi there. I'm Jada. Is this your first time here at the witch's market? That's what I thought. You have tourists written all over you. But those weapons give you away as an adventurer. You're a strange one. We don't usually get your kind here. What made you want to buy your magic items wholesale? Oh, yes, you stick out. Look around, darling. Everyone else here is a merchant or a shop owner. Actually, the merchants are buying up our stock to sell to you later. But you're smart, getting rid of the middleman. Why don't you spend a little time with me? I can tell you everything about the market. Besides, I have a hunch about you. But I'll have to spend more time with you to make sure I'm right about it. Don't worry, I'll tell you what it is later. Now, for your first lesson. Those fish you were looking at aren't half as magical as the witch running that stall says they are. She feeds them enchanted grain, but after someone buys one and feeds it normal food, they deflate in size. It's a scam. Mm, that's right. Honestly, I'm the most honest witch here. You're so lucky you found me. Come closer. Come on. I don't bite. Press right up against the stall so that others can pass behind you. I don't want any wasted space between us. Now then, do you have a name, darling? Oh, cute. Well, is there anything you came to the market to get? Oh, of course. I'm just asking to be polite. I can tell you're window shopping. You just want to see what's on offer? Oh, I just have the usual. Trinkets, odds and ends, and a few pretty baubles. Do you like tarot decks? I sold stacks of these to a gaggle of noble women last time I passed through the capital. They were adorable. Or how about the marbles I have? I think they match your eyes. If you throw them down in a dungeon, they'll release an enchanted smoke so you can make a quick escape. Is that your style?
Of course, I also have the usual lotions and potions. I just got a new bar of soap that will make you smell like a strawberry field in the height of summer. It lasts for weeks, but it will turn your hair the most beautiful shade of pink. I think that would look great on you. Oh, be careful around the glass flowers, though. They're very expensive. Pick one up, and I'll show you why. Just make sure you're gentle. Aha! The cost for touching a glass flower is a lifetime of servitude. You work for me now, adventurer. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Could you imagine? They're three gold and filled with a minor luck enchantment. Also, they make that sound when you pick them up so you can scare your friends. <laughs> but I loved seeing the look on your face. Hey, hey, don't turn away now. Or just getting started. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to have a little fun with you. I'd be great to work for, though. So tell me, do you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a they them? Why am I asking? Oh, well, I'm an experienced proprietor. I'm just trying to determine the needs of you, my favorite customer. If you have someone special, that changes things. So, what's your love situation? You're single? Well, as I live and breathe, that's a shocker. Don't worry, sometimes even the most beautiful flower is the last one to be harvested. Or something. I think they say that in Adderlands. You know how those people love their flowers. Oh, don't look so nervous, darling. You're doing great. As a matter of fact, we're ready to move on. Next question. What do you like to do for fun? <laughs> I know, everyone realizes how boring they are when they get asked that. But if you're looking for a hobby, I have a birdhouse that's quite special. It draws in wasps and turns them into adorable honeybees with fat, fuzzy butts. And the honey they produce will cure minor injuries. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. I thought it was very clever myself. Oh, you'll think about it. Perfect. Now here, darling, I think I'm ready to confirm that hunch I had about you. Step into my stall. I have a cloak I know you're interested in. I just need to see if it fits you. Yes, come closer. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We're so cozy. Now, I'm going to be bossy and give you some commands. Shoulders back. Stretch out your neck. Take a deep breath in. And I'm just going to wrap this cloak around you. Oh, pardon me while I run my hands down your shoulders and arms. Ah, 
There. Don't you feel comfy? What does it do? Oh, it turns green when you're facing north, and it does a little something for me, too. Go ahead. Turn around and try it out. Cute, right? It's very useful if you're the kind of person who gets lost but doesn't want other people to know. Here, let me smooth it out for you. I hope I'm not too close. I just have to hang off you for a moment to make sure everything is fitting and the magic works. Mmm, you smell good. You know, I can't remember the last time I had a date with an adventurer. What kind of things do you look for in a girlfriend? Oh, interesting. Listen, since we're so close, I better tell you. I want to take you on a date. Yeah, of course I do. I've been flirting with you since I saw you. It'll be my treat. I love looking after cuties like you. Mmm, that's what I thought your answer would be. Now I'm going to give you some options. You can go and enjoy the rest of the market, or you can wait it out here with me. But once I pack up my stall, the rest of the evening is ours, okay? And go ahead and keep the cloak. It only fits people who are romantically compatible with me anyways. What? It's a handy bit of magic. Don't hold it against me. I told you I had a hunch. Here, let me give you a little kiss to make it up to you. After all, I can hardly resist. Oh, you're so cute. I can't wait for our date together. <laughs> <laughs>